All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna test out is this Hard Candy Turn Me Matte Mix-In Drops. So this, I think, is definitely, ooh, did you guys hear that? It, like, made that funny little popping noise. This, I think, is a dupe for those custom blot drops from Cover Effects. I'll insert a picture in the corner if you guys haven't seen those, but I think this is a copy for that or a dupe for that. So all I have on right now is just some moisturizer. I'm gonna mix this in with my foundation and see if it makes it matte. So it says they're matte mix-in drops, a liquid mattifier that can be added to your moisturizer or foundation to leave a matte finish on skin, reduce pores, and control oil for all day wear. So it says to add and mix two to three drops to your moisturizer or foundation and blend effortlessly. You can wear it alone or you can wear it with makeup. So this is what it looks like. Really cute packaging. Obviously very similar to the cover effects. And it has a little dropper here. Let's see like what this formula looks like. It looks pretty kind of like goopy. Can you guys see this goopy-ish kind of formula? It doesn't seem to drop very easily so easily because the formula seems pretty thick so I might have to use my fingers for this I don't think this type of formula is gonna work well with this whole dropper situation so for my foundation today I mixed the L'Oreal true match it has been a minute since I've used this foundation I mixed two shades classic ivory and natural buff so I'm going to I really don't even remember what the finish of this foundation is like but I just mixed some on top of a candle thingy candle lid from Bath and Body Works and I don't know guys if this is gonna drop in here. I wanna mix two drops of this. I guess that's one, but look, it just like plops down like the perfect little droplet. I don't know, let's see if I can get a second one. I guess that's, it's not, it's not really dropping very well. Like I told you guys, it's really, really thick. I guess that's two drops. So I attempted to put two drops in there and I'm gonna just paint it on because I wanna use my Clarisonic again with this. I have a whole video on the Clarisonic foundation brush if you guys missed out on that. I will link it down below for you guys. And I didn't put on a primer or anything because I wanted to see how this applied to my skin. Because I feel like it's kind of like acting as a primer if it's supposed to reduce your pores, it's supposed to make you matte. So this is kind of interesting to me. All right, I have to remember not to put on too much foundation because the Clarisonic brush is like very intense. It makes your foundations look super full coverage. Hopefully this is charged. I didn't charge it last night, but let's see. Skin is definitely looking matte so far. So it's definitely matte, but I don't love the cover. I don't love the coverage of this foundation. I haven't used this. Like I said, it's been a while since I used True Match. I have to go in with a second layer, but my skin does look really matte, which is kind of cool because I am super oily. So I like that my skin looks pretty matte, although I do like to have a little bit of a dew to my skin, but hopefully the highlighter will help out with that. I also feel like the Clarisonic brush, for some reason I've been using this for the past week or so, and I feel like for some reason this also mattifies my, my foundations. I don't know what it is because it doesn't make that claim, but I do feel like my skin looks super matte when I use this. So this says it's supposed to reduce your pores. I don't think it did. So I think that claim is not true. It definitely made me matte, but I don't think it shrunk my pores or anything like that. I never tried the Cover FX ones, but I can imagine that this is super similar to that. Um, the only thing too I'm seeing is that this is really messy. It's kind of just like getting everywhere. It's getting all outside the cap and getting all over my hands. So it's a little bit of a messy product, but it is on the cheaper side, so I guess that's why. I'm also curious to see how this is not mixed into foundation, just having it as a base before my foundation. That is something that I'll definitely try out next with it. The thing I picked up from Hard Candy is this Bake and Brighten set. Bake, Brighten, and Set. Okay, that's what it's called, Bake, Brighten, and Set. This is an oil-free loose powder. It's a banana powder, and it's super, super yellowy. Do you guys see that? I think it's even coming off 
more yellow on my camera. It's not as yellow in person, but it's pretty yellow. So I don't know, I was a little bit hesitant to pick this up just because of the shade, but I figured let me just try it for the video. They didn't have any other shades that I saw. There wasn't a translucent, there was just this one, 1247 Banana is the name of it. And it says apply your shade of Glamouflage. I'm not gonna use Glamouflage because I don't love that concealer. That's coming in a later video of disappointing products, so stay tuned for that. Um, it says, pack a generous layer of loose powder onto still wet concealer. Allow powder to bake into concealer for five to 10 minutes. I'm going to apply my liquid camouflage concealer from Catrice. You guys know that I love this. I always feel like I'm raving about this concealer in all my videos. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and bake with this. I'm just gonna use that same Real Technique sponge. And I think I'm gonna use maybe the flat side of this. So I'm just gonna pick some up. I'm a little nervous for this. And Ooh, it is. It's really yellow. It's like extremely yellow. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. You guys see that yellow color? I'm nervous about this. Ooh. Oh, this is going to ruin my whole face makeup. Alright, let's see. It looks like. I just literally took yellow colored powder. I don't know about this, you guys. Mm, I don't know. I have, a, I have a bad feeling about this one. I really do. <laughs> it's just so yellow. It's like even more yellow than the Ben Nye banana powder. Like that's more of like a light colored yellow. This is like Sesame Street Big Bird yellow on my face right now so let's see what happens with this I'm gonna let it set there for about five minutes and hope and pray it doesn't ruin my face makeup and then I have to take it all off again and redo it if this sucks so I guess we'll see all right guys it's been about five minutes so I'm gonna brush this off with my elf small tapered brush I am so nervous to see what this is gonna look like nope Nope, nope, nope. No, you guys, this does not work for my skin tone. I think this might work if you have a darker skin tone than me, but look up close. Hopefully my camera's not washing it out, but it looks like I have yellow bags underneath my eyes, which is not a good look. I think I'm gonna have to wash off my face makeup and redo it. So this is a total fail for me. I'm gonna have to say this is a mess unless this works on a darker skin tone. Give it a try, but if you're like me and you have more of a fair skin tone, then this isn't gonna work, which I kind of knew because it just looked so yellow in the packaging. Okay guys, I am back. I took off that face makeup, that terrible banana powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, so bad on me. And I redid my makeup, so I tried something different. I didn't do it on camera, but I'll just tell you guys what I did. I took the Glamouflage Mix and Drops Turn Me Matte and I put that on as a base before my foundation. And then I applied my foundation. I used the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish Foundation. And I think I like that a lot better than mixing it in. For some reason, I feel like I like the way my skin looks now. I know also I didn't really love that L'Oreal foundation. And I did use a sponge this time around, but I feel like my skin looks just nicer and there is a tiny tiny bit more of a do to my face a bit better than they did before so I still really like this I'm gonna have to keep testing it out but I think this is a really cool product all right guys so the next one I am super excited for the second I saw this I knew it was gonna be a really cool dupe for something that I already had so this is the hard candy glamouflage mix and drops in radiant so it says add a drop to transform for a luminous finish now you guys know this looks exactly literally exactly like the cover effects custom enhancer drops i have celestial this stuff is really really pigmented it's very expensive like i don't know if i would buy another one of these again just because they are so expensive they're beautiful but i wish there was like a mini version of this just because i mean there is a decent amount of product in here and i don't think i'm ever going to go through all of this and i do really like these but i'm curious to see if this is going to be 
it's the same consistency and the same type of look. I mean, sorry guys, the thing like popped out. So it's just so crazy how much they look alike and how similar they made them look. Literally the same exact kind of packaging. Um, the hard candy one is a little bit thinner, same ounces. So the hard candy has 0.5, Fluid ounces and the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops also has 0.5 ounces, so you're getting the same amount of product. Same little dropper guy going on over here, except this one's white and this one is black. So I think I'm gonna do the Glamophage drops on this side of my face, and I'm gonna do the Cover FX drops on this side of my face. So excited for this one. So it says, these pearlescent and luminous drops can be added to any moisturizer or foundation to instantly give skin a radiant glow. This universal shade is flattering on all skin tones, mixes well with any liquid or cream formula, and can be used as intense or as subtle as you desire. It says to shake well before use, and it says you can add two to three drops. So this might be a good dupe. We'll have to see how well this performs in comparison to the cover FX one. Seven bucks, I just checked Walmart's website. They also have a bronzy shade, which I did not pick up, but maybe if I like this one, I'll pick that one up. So I think, ooh, oh my gosh, it's really, hold on, I'm gonna do a close up so you guys can see. Do you guys see how goopy that is? It's like, kind of strange, look. Ooh, it's like, looks kind of gross. Like it's supper, it's separating, like super watery. And then the wand part looks really gross too. It's a little better if you mix it on the back of your hand, but still the consistency is so strange. So there is what it looks like. It's not too reflective. Got some on with the sponge. All right, it's really pretty on the face. There's like a little chunk though. Kind of like more so wet looking than glowy. Not too much of a glow there. I just feel like my skin looks wet and I feel like it kind of took my foundation off a little bit actually. Really, really strange product. Let's see if I could add a little bit more. Looks wet and my foundation is gone from the area that I just applied the highlighter to. And look at this on my hand. Look how gross that is. I'm gonna put the cover effects on the other side of my face because we know this one is really good and has a nice consistency. So I'm gonna apply that. Super pigmented and I'm just gonna they look the same on the packaging, but that is where it stopped after that they are really not similar. Literally, like I said, just Vaseline rubbed all over my face. And this one is beautiful, very pigmented, high shine. So next thing I'm gonna try out is this Hard Candy Incandescent Iridescent Pearl Highlighter. Iridescent effect on the skin. It's supposed to be a prismatic duochromy highlighter. And guys, I don't know. So far, a lot of this stuff is like a fail. So I am nervous to try out another thing. But it says that it has a spectacular luminescent glow that flatters all skin tones with light reflective pearls. So I'm just gonna apply this over the liquid highlight. So the packaging is really pretty. It has this holographic cover. I love that. I feel it first. It looks super, super glittery, like chunks of blue glitter. So it's definitely not like a finely milled formula. Apply this onto this sad looking highlight over here. I don't think anything can help this right now. Ooh, it's pretty. It has like a pinky purplish kind of reflex to it. Let's see what it looks like over the cover effects. If you get up really close to the skin, you can see those little bits of glitter, but it's not bad. It's not as glittery as like the Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette where the glitter literally just falls on your face, even though I love that highlighter palette, but I'm just giving you guys a reference. This is not as glittery as it, but it still does have some in there and I really like the effect it gave on my skin. Definitely, definitely prismatic. 